good morning and welcome back to the channel oh it's really nice to be up and out early in the day again i mean whew, just look at this it's uh truly one of the best parts of the days to get up nice and early and uh it's one of the first times I've done it in a very, very long time. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back. Whew. But yeah, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, in today's video, I'm just going out and about um, and seeing what we can find, really, in terms of wildlife. I've got my bag, got all my gear, and obviously not much of an idea. But um, yeah, let's go see what we can find today. Hello there. I'm obviously not going to touch the horse or anything. Hey, sorry for disturbing you. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you in peace. There's quite a few of them around here. There's another one here. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Alright, I'm going. awesome <laughs> uh, it's funny really actually when I was at university I used to be part of the Hoofstock Society and uh, I remember we had a meeting once and they were asking uh, to pass down the, the chair position to one of the newbies and uh, everyone sat there and, uh, and no one wanted to take it so up goes my hand and uh, there we go, found myself as chairman of the Hoofstock Society. <laughs> I don't really know a lot about horses, but hey, hey, that happened. Um, oh, nearly tripped on some grass. Oh, let's just adjust my exposure. I just had to come back out, the forest is a bit too dark in there. Um, but yeah, I know it's been a really long time since I've done a video like this. And uh, you know, in my opinion, it's been way too long, but my god I did not realize how difficult it was going to be transitioning from obviously university where I don't have to get up that early that often to shift work where I'm getting up on my early shifts uh, you know so early and I just by the end of it when I get to my day off like today for example I'm usually just too tired and I, I just go no no I'm sleeping in I'm not getting up early um, but today you know I've just got off of my earlies and today's my day off, I've got one day off and then I'm back to work and I just thought, no, I'm getting up early today. We're going to go see what we can find and um, yeah, so far I haven't seen anything but I'm going to a location where I'm hoping to be able to find some roe deer. Um, I walked past there a couple of weeks ago and I saw a, a roe with, um, with its fawn or so. So yeah, that was really cool. So hopefully we'll be able to see some of those today. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Um, but what have I been up to um, since my last video? I think my last, well, my last sort of proper out and about video with uh, with regard to going out and photographing wildlife, I think was the badger video. Um, since then, I've actually been out quite a bit. And, you know, I've done, I've still been doing wildlife photography. Uh, and I'll just put up some video or some photos of, of what I have have done so I did go back out and find the badgers actually I just didn't vlog it because at that point I you know at, at that point in time I um I just couldn't be bothered <laughs> if I'm honest I just wanted to go out there and enjoy wildlife um, and yeah I found the badgers so I've put that up right now after the badgers I think I ended up going and photographing the cuckoo with my friend um, in a, a well-known location. Oh, dearing me. This sun. It's not great, is it? Oh, let's try and get in one of these shadows. <coughs> okay. That's a bit better. 
yeah, so I went to photograph the cuckoo, which I always say cuckoo for some reason. Um, but yeah, and we were the only ones there because it was pouring down with rain, and obviously no one wants to go out in the rain, but we're just like, let's do it, let's do it. Um, let's go see what we can do, and oh, it was worth it. It was worth it. My camera got really wet, and it wasn't great. Actually, I thought I'd ruined it. Um, did get some condensation build up on the inside element of the lens, so that's not brilliant. But hey ho, it's still working, and uh, there's no mold, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, so I've got some really nice photos there as well. And after that, I've been to the hide, and I've photographed. Sorry if this is a bit wonky. All of this. Um, camera here I'm, it's, I'm not used to it, it's really heavy so I went to the hide and I photographed the kestrel and um, some woodland birds as well so so yeah, um, I've still been out and about <sighs> and this morning as I say let's see what we can find um, I'm going to head towards a spot now and I'm just going to keep it down, not really talk and just see what we can do and um, yeah, and I'll catch up with you guys after that. Let's go. Kind of, um, I kind of given up doing it. Well, not giving up. I'm giving up trying to be quiet because I'll come out super early. You know, like six, six in the morning. Yeah, people are still everywhere. I mean, literally, I was walking past that guy's house with my camera, and he opens his front door and starts asking me what I'm doing, and uh, you know. <laughs> He ended up being friendly enough. I was telling him I was doing a YouTube video and looking for wildlife, and he was saying, if you come two hours earlier, you'll see the deer. I was like, two hours, yeah? Um, what's that? Oh, oh, it's cobweb. Two hours, hmm. It could be about half four by the time I got here, which it would just be pitch black, so like, that's no good to me. I, you know, <laughs> I need daylight. Uh, yeah, anyway, and I got into this field, and. Lo and behold, there was a deer here, which you've probably already seen because I showed you the footage of it uh, on the other side of this field. And I was getting ready to, like, you know, sneak up on it, slash, just sort of sit still and see whether or not it came closer to me. And I hear the gate go down by the end of the field, and <sighs> two people, two dogs, dogs running all over the place, bark, 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 rough, rough, as dogs do. Look over the deer, it's gone. <laughs> oh, might as well have stayed, bed, stayed in bed. Uh, but no, no, it's been nice. Oh, I hurt my legs. Um, there's also a buzzard I can hear flying around in these trees um, above me here. Um, and uh, one of the owners of the dogs was saying to me that the buzzard landed on one of these hay barrels the other day. You can see there's loads of them behind me. So, I'm thinking if I just hang around in this area for a bit, well I do feel like the guy from the bungalow is just looking out his window watching me now, which is really weird, because I can still see his house from here. 
But hey ho, if he wants to watch me, he can watch me. I told him I've got a YouTube channel anyway, so. Um, yeah, let's see what we can find. If not, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna probably get the macro out and see what see what we can find in terms of the flowers. We've got a big sort of wildflower meadow over here. And um, even if there's no butterflies or anything, or moths, I might be able to get some nice photographs of the um, of the flowers. So, so yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's get back to it. <laughs> You may be able to hear that. That is the buzzard, which has just landed in this tree, which is, well, I'm looking at a tree, I'm looking directly into the sun as well, so I cannot see the buzzard. Um, you can't really get a good look at that either. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll tell you my plan. So my plan is to literally sit. I've got my bag in front of me, which is nice and camoed in and kind of just looks like the shape of one of these hay barrels. I'm just going to sit up against one of these hay barrels and see whether or not the deer decide to come back out because, let's be honest, they're probably used to uh, people walking their dogs up and up and down this footpath. It's probably got spooked for a bit. If I, And I've taken this opportunity to sort of sneak in and hide up against this barrel, which probably isn't the best spot, but it's an idea that I've got. So let's see what happens. Um, see if any deer come out and uh, say hello. <sighs> All right, so we've just had a sudden change of uh, wind direction and actually the wind is picking up as well, so. Um, I'm going to move from this spot because I think the deer are over there and the wind's coming from behind me so there's no way that the deer will be coming this way or coming out near me. Um, I'm just in the wrong position in terms of the wind direction. So yeah, <laughs> hey hey, that was fun either way. We'll um, see what we can find um, going the other way. I can still hear that buzzard just sat up in that tree squawking away. Um, yeah, let's go see what else we can find. I've just come onto this field which is full of uh, you know long grasses and, and wildflowers and things so who knows. Um, there's actually a ladybird just down here on a long piece of grass. Um, to be honest probably not an amazing photograph but the fact that there's actually a subject for me to photograph I think I'm gonna have a go with my 100 to 400 um, the telephoto and if it's a good subject and it like stays around I'll try and get the macro out and uh, have a go with the macro so yeah um, let's see what we can do
Oh my god. You will not believe what just happened. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still shaking a little bit because honestly I just I was so unprepared for that. <laughs> I'm still sat here um, trying to photograph this ladybird on the grass. And it's being a fantastic subject and I still haven't got a single photograph of it because literally I got set up to take a picture of it with my um, telephoto lens and I looked behind me because I thought I heard something and there's a male roe deer uh, buck basically walking directly towards me. So if you see this um, gate just here, you can sort of see that silver gate. Um, and to the right of that gate, there was a, uh, a male road here. And oh my god. It, honest to god, it walked directly towards me. And it, it walked up to the gate. So it, honestly, that's 15 metres, if that, in terms of distance. It didn't know I was here. So I got into the right position because I've got the wind going the other way now. And it was completely oblivious. And um, it didn't seem to notice my shutter going off either. I had it in silent. And um, yeah, I wasn't prepared though. I was not prepared. <laughs> so I don't know whether or not the photographs were um, exposed correctly or not. But yeah, oh my god. <laughs> that was such an awesome experience. And um, yeah, I actually decided to. It was having a little sniff. And it was I, it could tell there was something not quite right. But it couldn't figure it out. And anyway, it decided to walk back the way that it came. And it just went off about its business. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> that was such a cool experience. Honestly. This is why we get up early. We come out. And we just get, you know, be a part of nature. And just, just enjoy it. It's so cool, you know. To have an experience like that. It's rare. It doesn't really happen that often. But my god, when it does. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. We'll get back to this ladybird, see if we can get a couple of shots of that, and um, we'll be on our way. <laughs> Alright, just to give you a quick flavour of, uh, of what just happened, look at this image. How can I complain about that? Unbelievable. Seriously, that's so amazing. That has made my day. I'm happy now. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> Getting a bit hot now, so I'm just gonna take my jacket off. Oh. I need some new walking boots. They are drenched and my feet are absolutely soaked. Um, yeah, it's not ideal really. But yeah, I'm going to put the, um, the macro on. I've just got a couple of photos of that ladybird with the telephoto lens. And uh, yeah, I think they came out alright actually. Um, the ladybird is on the move now because the sun has started to hit it and it seems to be a little bit more active and it's running up and down the piece of grass but it's still staying in that spot so if I'm quick I might be able to get a shot with the um, the macro lens as well so I'll put the macro on and then I'm going to switch it straight back to the telephoto and be on my way and see what else we can find let's do this Alright, so we got um, a couple of, let me just change that quick, got a couple of shots of the ladybird, obviously with the telephone lens and now the macro as well, just been going around with my Canon 100mm macro handheld, so in all honesty, the chances are 
they're out of focus. But I like my chances, and uh, yeah, took a few photos. Um, the ladybird wasn't in a very good position for a photograph when I was using the macro. It was in a much better position when I was using my telephoto. So yeah, I prefer, well, from looking at the back of the camera, I prefer the photograph taken on my telephoto lens. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting, obviously, to try some macro out using different different lenses. Obviously, a telephoto lens compared to the uh, macro lens. Sometimes, actually, I prefer the telephoto photograph more than I do the tele the, the macro. Um, but yeah, it's good to good to play around with it actually. Um, right. So, oh, the sun really is beginning to um, break out of those clouds. And there goes a pigeon flying through. Nice. Cool. So, plan is now um, head back to sort of start heading back. Um, yeah. I mean, doing this macro photography really made me want to get out and do a little bit more of it, to be honest with you. Um, I'm actually considering getting out the, um, the moth trap. We've got a scientific moth trap, um, which actually was very expensive. But anyway, we've got that. And um, yeah, I, I put it out last year and we got some absolutely amazing moths. Um, what was it called? The elephant hawk moth? I don't know if you've ever seen elephant hawk moth, but if you haven't, look it up. Or I'll show you a picture. Um, incredible colours, incredible colours. But yeah, there's just so many different types of moths, and I really want to get to know all the different um, the different types of them. But I'm never gonna because there's so many. Um, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna stop sort of talking, and um, <sighs> let's uh, let's head a uh, head back and uh, see what we can find. Let's go. <laughs> Actually, change of plans. This is going to be the end of the video. Um, I can see I've already done so many like little clips and things. This is going to take forever for me to like edit and and sort and stuff. So yeah, you know, time is precious. So I don't really want to make this too hard for myself. So I'm going to leave it there. I feel like you know we we got quite a, quite a good lot of content. Let me just sort my exposure out. Um, the sun is playing games with me today, obviously because of the cloud and stuff. Um, I think that's a bit better. Um, I do apologise if it's not. Um, but but yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up there because, say, the sun's getting too harsh now. Um, but yeah, it was good to finally come back and make another video. Um, guys, thank you very much for being here. Uh, if you like it, please hit, you know, the like button. <laughs> um, subscribe if you want to see more. And um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, I'll put the link to uh, buying me a coffee down below. Um, I really appreciate it whenever anyone ever does that. So to everyone who has, I want to say a massive thank you as well, because there have been some people who have been very, very generous. And um, honestly, it makes all the difference. So thank you very, very much. Um, anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop boring you now. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you in the next video.